that uh, stage the acting leader of government business adjournment. Point of procedure, Madam I Speaker. I beg to move, uh, Madam Speaker, I beg to move that the House do now adjourn. Thank you. The question wow. is... <laughs> The question is that the House do now adjourn. Any debate? Yes, Madam Speaker. Any objection? Honorable Member for Lumez, can you leave the chamber? Please leave the chamber. The question is that the House do now adjourn. Any debate? Any objection? The question is agreed to. The House? Is now adjourned. Well, still under a year of the UPND administration, the fight against corruption is one that is uh, well still uh, is still being perceived as that of political persecution. With quite many members of uh, uh, of the former ruling party, the PF, having faced the anti-corruption commission, seemingly uh, found some, most of them surviving most you know court cases. One can only imagine that again there is still many more other cases uh, to come. With the latest obviously being that of President Edgar Lungu's daughter and her husband that were uh, today being questioned for uh, alleged corruption cases. But the biggest question is whether we are making progress in the fight against corruption. But amidst all of this, there again is a huge debate in the wake of parliamentary business and the freedom of expression where some members have uh, well, felt curtailed Others found in breach of their parliamentary privileges. And one such is Lumezi Constituency, member of parliament, who has cried foul at the hands of the speaker. Uh, about a, a month ago or two, he was ordered to, again to apologize on the floor of the house in what many people perceived as quite a dramatic turn of events in how he, he handled that apology. And today, again being sent out of the house for raising uh, uh, to a point of wanting to debate on the floor of the House. He, he's joining us on this edition of Diamond Live. Welcome. Um, thank you so very kind uh, for hosting me tonight. And uh, good evening, uh, viewers. I think it's uh, prudent for me to put it on record that uh, I'm not a person that is malicious. What injures my persona and that which injures those people that sent me to parliament is that uh, I'm not a likable person here on the floor of the house. We cannot continue as a country to pretend that things are well, where you are detested, you are hated for nothing. At some point, I thought that uh, uh, the presiding officers are going to be neutral. But today, we, I don't know what I need to do to fall in love with them because parliament is not about PF and UPND. I raised a point of order before the chief of the PF who is Honorable Campion, but uh, the speaker in her own wisdom chose to allow Honorable Campion to sub make submissions. And I insisted to say, no, permit me also, because I'm not PF, I'm not uh, UPND, but it became a conversation of PF, UPND, and the speaker. 
and the speaker ignored me for whatever reasons i don't uh, i know i'll be penalized i'll be suspended i'll be expelled but i don't mind but the levels of hatred towards some of us are explicit where is this hatred coming from and you are a mem you, you are an independent member of parliament uh, why should uh, the speaker hate you she knows best to be very honest i'll be subjected to the privileges committee standing orders committee but uh, the levels of hate that she has expo has uh, exposed today are alarming uh cheswa i should tell you to say i would have uh, the levels of hate are alarming and uh, the biggest question i have is should i also build that hate she will expel me she will expose me to the privileges committee standing orders committee reforms committee but the question is is parliament about pf and upnd Wait, what did she send you she out allowed, in your own opinion uh, uh, look she allowed the upnd to make submissions allowed bran mundwile who is leader of opposition from the pf before Honorable Campiongo rose on a point of order, I had a reason on a point of order. She never gave me chance. Instead, she gave Campiongo a chance. After Campiongo, I thought she would use her position to allow a neutral voice to be heard from the independents. What did she do? She posed the question. I said, Yes, Madam Speaker. The next thing she did was she went emotional. Leave the chamber of the house. And I obliged. Don't you think all these instances are coming from your record that you've had of uh, raising quite many points of orders and, and uh, disobeying parliamentary procedures as many would perceive that you have been quite very controversial in the house this is not the first time that you are being at crossroads with the speaker you are uh, causing havoc in the house and the what speaker was merely just caused? trying to do her job in Look, uh, bringing some Cheswa, sanity to the house Cheswa, Cheswa. what havoc have i caused on the floor of the house what havoc have i caused I've be, my life is in danger uh, because i shared privileged information with the vice president and the vice president went to tell someone of our privileged information. Beyond that, the speaker has also chosen a path to chase me out of the chamber for uh, saying yes. She asked a question. Mm. Any debate? I said yes. Of course, you any already, you objection? Already... There was no response. There was no response. Even if the speaker hates me, to be very honest, uh, I'm not liked by this Madam Speaker. This I know. But this is your perception. It's you, not a perception. You've been Cheswa. raising, Listen, you've been raising quite many look, things. When, when you, when you Cheswa, then you are making a mistake. Then there was no need for me to be here. I, I'm going to ask you. The a, speaker a, does a, not a, a like question. me as a person. But Whether she likes me because or she hates me because I'm from the East, I don't know. Whether she detests me because of my submissions, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But you cannot chase someone from the chamber of the house for answering a question. She posed a question. Any debate? The answer I posed was yes. And she looked at me. If you check that video clip, Mm. We'll show you she paused for more than a minute. Any objection? No. And she was very emotional. Honorable member for Mezi, can you leave the house? Mm. The chamber, in fact. She said the chamber. Mm. I left. Now, Cheswa, mm. we are in a house that develops and creates laws. And your, the speaker is very consistent. Maybe she can hit me. <laughs> my age, at my age and her age, trust me, I'm more advantaged than her.
tomorrow I'll be expelled from parliament for 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, but I'll still come back. Is that your expectation moving forward? I know what she's planning. How so? How do you how how would you how would you know what what this? She hates been? me with a passion. But I mean, I, she's I, just I, exposed I, it today. And I understand you you have on the floor of the house said, in fact, that you are going to give an emotional statement. Are you also being emotional? How you're raising I issues was emotional of, of in the sense in the house. that I knew that the people on the right were going to be shielded. My life is in danger. I've been threatened to say, we'll crush you by the same businessmen that supported the previous regime. Why haven't you raised this, this evidence on the floor of the house? I mean, you were given an opportunity to put the, the evidence on the floor of the house and you, you did it. I pointed at the person who was on the house who sold me out. I said, the vice president is here. It's the vice president that sold me out. And it's a vice president that gave certain powers to that character to tell other businessmen that we're crushing. Today, the speaker proved it by chasing me out of the house for answering a question of saying yes. I know the speaker does not like me. She, does, she hates me with a passion. But look, I'm not in her age group. That's a fact. The standing orders have created a provision. If on Wednesdays, 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 how I wish I can be allowed to open the standing orders, uh, even online, I, I think I can access them. Wednesdays, the speaker does not need any one of us to rebut her adjournment. Today is not a Wednesday, it was a Thursday. Wednesdays, the speaker's jurisdiction is non-questionable according to our standing orders. Mm. But today is a Thursday. So why did the speaker take it personal on me? And she, she looked at me, stared at me, and then said, can you leave the chamber of the house? What do you think about your parliamentary privileges uh, moving forward how do no, you I how don't, do you, how do you intend for now, to chess, well, I don't even uh, have how do you privileges intend to handle business parliamentary business if you are going to be thinking that uh, the no, person that is presiding over this affairs of the house it's not being, about thinking it's being personal well, uh, permit me let me you. mention it's not even about thinking mm. i don't have the privileges the speaker has taken a position uh I was sharing it with a few friends before coming here. That is it necessary for me to to be on the floor, uh, to be in parliament, where the speaker has already created. Remember, before this session, the speaker issued a strong warning. So don't blame me if I don't allow you to debate. She wanted me on the floor of the house because she's always taking a favoritism approach. Do you think she only hates you among no, members of No, she hates me. That me, I'm convinced. The speaker hates me. There's nothing I can do to please her. I'm not in her age group, but uh, she hates me. Mm. And uh, the, the only problem that I have is that I'm not a hater. I would have extended the same hate to her. Yesterday, I even tried to approach her in her office. An excuse was created that she's on a virtual meeting. I knew she's just trying to excuse herself from having a conversation with me because there are some people that she has allowed to chair sensitive committees that are collecting one million kwacha, what amounts of money from different businessmen. Mm. And they, she's giving it a blind eye. What do you make of the perception that you, you haven't been able to conduct yourself in the most honorable way as a member what of do parliament? You mean because this is, this is not the first time that you are coming at crossroads with the speaker. This is not the first time that you have been asked to apologize and to give all those all these statements. All I'm asking is what what do you, what do you make of the perception 
people are having I, now. I, that, I'm in that, the that, wrong that house. As, as, a, as a young person, you need to be exemplary. You need to show the leadership but Cheswa, in the house and you need you to represent to, the people of Lumezi. You want me to be exemplary. Can we be honest? Mm -hmm. Bring the speaker here. And she should explain why she hates some of us. Does she hate me because I'm from Lumezi? Does she hate me because I speak the truth? How do you tell someone that withdraw the word lie and replace it with the word falsehood? What's the difference between falsehood and lying? But you know that's parlamentary procedure. I mean, it's done Whether it's procedure, anywhere in the world, you must replace words that, so that, that, that are more decent. I'm at a wrong place. And this country will not develop. This country won't develop. You cannot just hate someone for being honest, for being factual, for being truthful. I'm not malicious. The vice president put me in harm's way. If you say I'm not in the right place, what do you, what, what do you intend to do? What, what, what does this mean uh, for, for the people of Lumezi? Uh, sooner or later, my next announcement will be made, and I'll make it on the floor of the house. I'm at the wrong place where lies are entertained, or falsehood is allowed. Uh, are you in, intending of resigning as member of parliament? Uh, uh, that I'll mention at the right time. I think I'm at the wrong place. You cannot hate someone in that fashion for answering a question. Any debate? I said yes. And the speaker chased me out of the house. What does it mean for the people of Lumezi that you uh, seemingly... It's not about Lumezi, to... Cheswa. It's well, the about people of people Lumezi of sent you to the house. The people the, of Lumezi people sent of you Lumezi to the house. The people of Lumezi sent... They are very good people. Mm -hmm. They sent me to, to represent them. But where you are detested mm -hmm. and you are hated... But aren't you letting these people down when you say that you but are in, where a, hate in, in, in a wrong supersedes. place? Where hate supersedes... But hate from one person. The people of Lomezi are thousands yeah, of people. People of Lomezi are millions. What are, what are your priorities? Uh, I can tell you the speaker hates me with a passion. And uh, I don't hate her. That I must mention. Because I don't have a hate. But what she did mm. was an insult on democracy. An insult... It's I would, I, would, I, would, I, would, I would love us to just uh, take a short break uh, uh, to join us back shortly. Welcome back to this edition of Diamond Live. We'd love to uh, state very clearly in a disclaimer that uh, the views expressed on this program do not in any way represent the views of Diamond TV. Unfortunately, we'll have to uh, end the program uh, 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 immediately. Uh, and we'll, we'll have to join you all tomorrow at 21.30.